A2 Flyers 4, published by Cambridge University Press and Cambridge Assessment English 2022. This recording is copyright. Test 1. Hello, this is the Cambridge Assessment English A2 Flyers Listening Test. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Here's a photo of my friends on our school camping trip, Uncle. Wow! There's Michael. The one with the magazine? Yes, and the silly hat. He collects all kinds of funny clothes. He wants to design clothes. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Our camping trip was amazing. Can you see that girl? The one with the bandage on her knee? Yes. She was the only one who fell over that week. But look, she's jumping across that dangerous stream again. What's her name? Sophia. And who's that? He's called Oliver. Oh, well, it's good that he's wearing a helmet. Yes, they didn't let us cycle anywhere without one. Well, that's important. He's got a nice bike. Yes. And can you see Emma? The girl with the wood. She's by the fire. That's right. Was she cooking something on it? Not that afternoon, but the next day she made some fantastic pancakes. Great. What's that person doing? Is it a girl or a boy? I, I can't see. I'm not sure. Is it Helen? Oh no, that's Robert. Sorry. He was exploring that cave. What did he hope to find inside? I don't know, but he took his torch. Monsters, perhaps. Katie's in the picture too. She and I slept in the same tent. Which one's she? The girl on the high rock? No, she's that girl. The one who's playing an adventure game on her tablet. Oh, with no shoes on? That's right. She's my best friend. We never stop laughing. Now listen to part one again. Our camping trip was amazing. Can you see that girl? The one with the bandage on her knee? Yes. She was the only one who fell over that week. But look, she's jumping across that dangerous stream again. What's her name? Sophia. And who's that? He's called Oliver. Oh. Well, it's good that he's wearing a helmet. Yes. They didn't let us cycle anywhere without one. Well, that's important. He's got a nice bike. Yes. And can you see Emma? The girl with the wood. She's by the fire. That's right. Was she cooking something on it? Not that afternoon, but the next day she made some fantastic pancakes. Great. What's that person doing? 
Is it a girl or a boy? I, I can't see. I'm not sure. Is it Helen? Oh no, that's Robert. Sorry. He was exploring that cave. What did he hope to find inside? I don't know, but he took his torch. Monsters, perhaps. Katie's in the picture too. She and I slept in the same tent. Which one's she? The girl on the high rock? No, she's that girl, the one who's playing an adventure game on her tablet. Oh, with no shoes on? That's right. She's my best friend. We never stop laughing. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Have you got a lot of homework to do this evening, Holly? No, Mom. I've only got to do one piece of work. For which subject? It's for history. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Your history teacher is new, isn't he? What's his name? He is called Mr. Badger. You spell that B A D G E R. He's a good teacher. He makes everything really interesting. Everyone likes him. That's good. What is your homework about? It's about people who invented things. I've got to read about the man who invented the bicycle. I remember having to write about that. No, the telephone, Mom. A man did that in 1876, I think. Wow. Do you have to answer lots of questions about him? Yes. How many? More than twelve? Yes, twenty-four. And do you have to give this homework to your teacher on Friday? No, sooner than that, on Wednesday. So I really want to start it tonight. Good idea. Will you need to go online? I'm not sure yet, but can I borrow your laptop to do that? Of course. We're going to make a model of a phone in class. That'll be fun. Do you need to take anything to school to help you make it? Yes, some glue. No problem. I'll get some for you. Thanks. Now, Mom, I really must do my homework. Please stop talking. Okay. Sorry. Now listen to part two again. Your history teacher is new, isn't he? What's his name? He is called Mr. Badger. You spell that B A D G E R. He's a good teacher. He makes everything really interesting. Everyone likes him. That's good. What is your homework about? It's about people who invented things. I've got to read about the man who invented the bicycle. I remember having to write about that. No, the telephone, Mom. A man did that in 1876, I think. Wow. Do you have to answer lots of questions about him? Yes. How many? More than twelve? Yes, twenty-four. And do you have to give this homework to your teacher on Friday? No, sooner than that, on Wednesday. So I really want to start it tonight. Good idea. Will you need to go online? I'm not sure yet, but can I borrow your laptop to do that? Of course. We're going to make a model of a phone in class. That'll be fun. Do you need to take anything to school to help you make it? Yes, some glue. No problem. I'll get some for you. Thanks. Now, Mom, I really must do my homework. Please stop talking. Okay.
Sorry. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. William is helping his aunt to tidy her table. Where did each thing on the table come from? My room is really untidy. Let's put all these things away, William. OK. What an unusual comb, Aunt Sarah. Where did you get it from? The Museum of Art. I bought it last week. I like it very much, but I haven't used it yet. I think I'll keep it in my handbag. All right. Can you see the letter H? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. This is one of my favourite bracelets, but I don't often wear it. It's broken. Can you fix it? No, but I know someone who can. I got it a long time ago when I was going on holiday. So, did you buy it at the airport? Yes, that's right. And I need to put this soap in the bathroom. Did you get that from the new chemist? It didn't come from there. I got it from the hotel where I stayed last week. When you had your important meeting in the city? Yes, I was there for two days. What about this belt? Is it yours? It looks like a man's. It is mine, actually. I'll take it upstairs in a minute. I found that in the little shop in the castle. The one we visited together last summer? Yes. That was such a cool place. Now, what shall I do with these scissors? I know. I'll put them here. Have you had those for a long time? Yes. I can't remember when I bought them, but I remember where I bought them. Let me guess. From the factory you go to sometimes. You're good at guessing. But no, from the chemists. Last thing, this letter. It looks important, but you haven't opened it yet? I know. I'll read it later. It's from the restaurant. We're going to have a party there. Wow! Do you mean in the one in the new building next to the motorway? No, the new one in town. Excellent! Now listen to part three again. This is one of my favourite bracelets, but I don't often wear it. It's broken! Can you fix it? No, but I know someone who can. I got it a long time ago when I was going on holiday. So, did you buy it at the airport? Yes, that's right. And I need to put this soap in the bathroom. Did you get that from the new chemist? It didn't come from there. I got it from the hotel where I stayed last week. When you had your important meeting in the city? Yes, I was there for two days. What about this belt? Is it yours? It looks like a man's. It is mine, actually. I'll take it upstairs in a minute. I found that in the little shop in the castle. The one we visited together last summer? Yes. That was such a cool place. Now, what shall I do with these scissors? I know. I'll put them here. Have you had those for a long time? Yes. I can't remember when I bought them, but I remember where I bought them. Let me guess. From the factory you go to sometimes? You're good at guessing. But no, from the chemists. Last thing, this letter. It looks important, but you haven't opened it yet? I know. I'll read it later. 
It's from the restaurant. We're going to have a party there. Wow! Do you mean in the one in the new building next to the motorway? No, the new one in town. Excellent! That is the end of part three. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. Which sport is David going to play? David's going to have a busy weekend. He's got to play in a sports match. What is it this time? Soccer? Volleyball. That's his favorite sport now, and he's good at it. So he enjoys that more than ice hockey, too? Yes. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where will the match be? Where will the match be? At the sports center? That's right. He isn't happy about that. He wanted to play at the stadium. Well, perhaps he will in the future. He might be famous then. Well, we should go and watch. It isn't very far from his school. Two. How will David get to the match? Is the team going to travel to the match on the school bus? No. I told the teacher that we can give David and two of his friends a lift. Fine. That's easier than going by train. All right. Three. What time will the match begin? What time should we arrive? We should get there before half past two. The game will start then. So, two o'clock? Yes. Or two fifteen. He'll only need five minutes to change into his sports clothes. Okay. Well, I hope there won't be too much traffic on the roads. Four. Who asked David to play in the match? So, who asked David to play? Was it his sports teacher? Mrs. Green? No. It was Harry's father, actually. Oh. Is Harry one of the boys in the team? That's right. Five. How is David feeling now? Where is David now? I'd like to talk to him. Is he worried about the game? No, he isn't. He was feeling really tired, but he isn't now. He's repairing his skateboard outside. Oh, yes. Why does he look so angry? I think he needs another new wheel, and he hasn't got any money. No problem. I'll take him to the sports shop after lunch and get him one. Great. Now listen to part four again. One. Where will the match be? Where will the match be? At the sports center? That's right. He isn't happy about that. He wanted to play at the stadium. Well, perhaps he will in the future. He might be famous then. Well, we should go and watch. It isn't very far from his school. Two. How will David get to the match? Is the team going to travel to the match on the school bus? No. I told the teacher that we can give David and two of his friends a lift. Fine. That's easier than going by train. All right. Three. What time will the match begin? What time should we arrive? We should get there before half past two. The game will start then. So, two o'clock? Yes. Or two fifteen. 
He'll only need five minutes to change into his sports clothes. Okay. Well, I hope there won't be too much traffic on the roads. Four. Who asked David to play in the match? So, who asked David to play? Was it his sports teacher? Mrs. Green? No. It was Harry's father, actually. Oh. Is Harry one of the boys in the team? That's right. Five. How is David feeling now? Where is David now? I'd like to talk to him. Is he worried about the game? No, he isn't. He was feeling really tired, but he isn't now. He's repairing his skateboard outside. Oh, yes. Why does he look so angry? I think he needs another new wheel, and he hasn't got any money. No problem. I'll take him to the sports shop after lunch and get him one. Great. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. This boy has quite a lot of fun in this room, I think. Can I colour this picture? Well, you can colour some parts of it. Can you see the cushion? The one on the floor? Sure. Excellent. Make that yellow, please. OK. There. Can you see the yellow cushion? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. One. Let's colour one of the boys' gloves next. All right. Do you mean the one on the seat? That's right. How about colouring that orange? Cool. I love that colour. Good. So do I. Two. Can I colour something else in the room now? Yes, you can. Colour the butterfly. The one that the boy's looking at? All right. What colour shall I use? Green, I think. Could I colour it red instead? I think that will look better. If you want. OK. Three. I'd like you to write something in the picture too. OK. Where? On the largest drum in the middle of the room. Write Frank. Is that the boy's name then? Yes, it is. Four. Can I do some more writing, please? I really enjoy that. Fine. Let's put a word on the piece of paper that's on the wall above the boy's bed, then. OK. I've got an idea. Can I write sleep? <laughs> yes. Five. Perhaps you should colour that flag too. Do you mean the one that's by the brush and the TV? Not that one. The other one. Can you see it? It's on the computer screen. No problem. Let's use purple for that. Brilliant.
This picture looks a lot better now. Hooray! <laughs> Now listen to part five again. One. Let's colour one of the boy's gloves next. All right. Do you mean the one on the seat? That's right. How about colouring that orange? Cool. I love that colour. Good. So do I. Can I colour something else in the room now? Yes, you can. Colour the butterfly. The one that the boy's looking at? All right. What colour shall I use? Green, I think. Could I colour it red instead? I think that will look better. If you want. OK. Three. I'd like you to write something in the picture too. OK. Where? On the largest drum in the middle of the room. Write Frank. Is that the boy's name then? Yes, it is. Four. Can I do some more writing, please? I really enjoy that. Fine. Let's put a word on the piece of paper that's on the wall above the boy's bed, then. OK. I've got an idea. Can I write sleep? <laughs> yes. Five. Perhaps you should colour that flag too. Do you mean the one that's by the brush and the TV? Not that one. The other one. Can you see it? It's on the computer screen. No problem. Let's use purple for that. Brilliant. This picture looks a lot better now. Hooray! <laughs> That is the end of the A2 Flyers listening test. Thank you.